YouTube, it's Mega here. I'm going to go ahead and give you the real quick uh, lay down of the pregame. This week we're going to start off, we're in week three, we're going to start off with the SEC. First game that we got coming up is um, Louisiana Monroe and Auburn. Louisiana Monroe just coming off a big win. Auburn trying to find a win this year. Auburn may end up 0-3 in this one. Uh, Presbyterian and Vanderbilt. Okay, Vanderbilt, they're looking to get an offense going, mainly confidence, and I think that they may be able to build that with this Presbyterian. Um, it's just a smaller school. And they're, they're not established as uh, a Vanderbilt team. All right, Texas A&M and SMU. Texas A&M, they're going to try to play four-quarter ball against SMU because they failed to do that last week in the SEC. And they've learned that you've got to play four-quarter ball in the SEC. A big game this week, we got Florida and Tennessee. Florida trying to say that we haven't died yet. And Tennessee trying to say, hey, we're back and we're resurrected. We'll see. Uh, I think both programs right now, we've seen a major improvement from what we've seen the past two years. And I think it'll be worth a game well worth watching. Uh, South Carolina and UAB. This is a key game for South Carolina because they're, what they're going to try to do is, is, is in, in the first game, if you remember, when they, you know, they didn't, they didn't, they weren't playing great ball. It wasn't very impressive. And, you know, what realistically, they didn't have an offense going. Last week they got their offense going and they're going to continue to try to do that again. Kentucky versus Western Kentucky. I'm telling you right now, Western Kentucky's got a good shot at winning this game. And the reason why I say that is because they came out and hit Alabama in the mouth. Um, and if they do the same against Kentucky and they play four-quarter ball, they should. Uh, they, they got a good shot at winning that game. Georgia and Florida Atlantic. I think Florida Atlantic's got like 24 points on the board this year. Shouldn't be a tough game for Georgia. Arizona State and Missouri. There you go. Pac-12 versus SEC. Uh, a newly welcomed SEC team. Uh, team. I don't really. To tell you the truth, I'm sorry, Texas A&M and Missouri fans. I really don't keep, consider you a part of the SEC until you've did at least one season and ran through the SEC. Now, I'm not saying you won every game. I'm just saying you pay your dues. We all pay our dues. You're paying your dues this year, and you're learning. So, uh, Mississippi State and Troy. That's another game you're gonna have coming up this week. Um, you know, really, that's. I think Troy's got like 16 points on the board this year. And you got Idaho and LSU. You know what? LSU's already easily taken care of the Pac-12, and now they're going to go ahead and take care of the Pac this week, uh, or the WAC this week. And then you got Texas A&M and Ole Miss. Now, this is going to be a good game because you've already seen, and if I'm a Texas fan, I'm really happy this game went on, because you've already seen an Oklahoma team struggle with UTEP, and Ole Miss beat UTEP. And they beat them fairly well, as a matter of fact. So this game will actually give you, uh, I guess, a slight preview or not an idea because you really can't base it off of who beat who and what, when, where, and why because different matchups, different athletes. But you, it's it's just fun to watch and, and consider comparing them um, and getting a, like a snapshot of the Red River rivalry. So other than that, um, I guess we can go ahead and go through the struggle alerts real quick. I'm looking right now, it's mainly in the, in the SEC. I'm saying that Ole Miss could possibly beat Texas, and I'm saying that, you know, Western Kentucky, that could be a game too. You got USC and Stanford this week, and, you know, I think that Stanford's not where they should be, but I do feel like that USC's overrated. Syracuse came out and hit them in the mouth, and... You know they 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 were able to pass on them fairly well. So look for that. That I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna go ahead and put that game on the struggle alert. And then you got Notre Dame, Michigan State. That's gonna be a good game. But I think Michigan State's gonna walk away with that one. They just got a better program and have had a better program for the past few years. Other than that, YouTube. Let's talk about the big game. Alabama versus Arkansas. Who's gonna win? I think you're gonna have an Arkansas team that had their mind, their hopes, and everything set on winning a national championship this year. And what ended up happening, they looked ahead and they got hit in the mouth by Louisiana Monroe and they lost in overtime. And that right there, I think, is just upset them and broke their heart. And they're going to be a little heartbroken. Um, I think it would be a good game if they come out fighting against Alabama. Um, but at, at the end of the day, I just don't think that they're going to have it in them. I, I just don't. I don't think they're going to have that fight in them that they would have had if they would have went ahead and single-handedly took care of Louisiana Monroe. 
And you know what? They looked ahead. They didn't take care of business, and it's their own fault. Alabama, on the other hand, I believe, did the exact same thing. The only difference is, is Western Kentucky put the ball on the ground way too many times to even be, you know, to even make a, a chance or a shot at, at hanging with an Alabama team. So I think that both teams looked ahead to this game. I hope that just because um, Arkansas is not in the top 10 anymore that Alabama don't look over them because it's, it's very it was very easy to see that, that Arkansas team completely looked past Louisiana Monroe and was looking ahead to this week so in saying that um, roll tide I hope you know I appreciate you guys watching I appreciate the new subs that I'm getting and I appreciate the comments so let me know what you think and you know if always you want to comment is roll tide or roll I hear you all right YouTube